Alrighty, so here it goes. My first try at a Bitstrips video tutorial. So here we are on the front page of Bitstrips. Okay. Now, today I'm going to go over the moon prop. Now, like I said, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of uses for the moon prop. Um, it's one of the most widely used props on Bitstrips right now. So, the counter and the moon, I would say, are the two probably widest used. So, where is the moon? I had somebody ask me that earlier today. And they said they couldn't find it anywhere in the comic builder. Well, they were right. It's not in the comic builder. Like I said, if you haven't used the scene builder, then you're missing out on a lot. So, we're going to go to the scene builder. And now, if you n notice on the comic builder, you normally only have controls, text bubbles, and art library. Art library is always usually over here, but you don't usually have background. Well, here you've got background, and you can do a lot with it. You got wall stuff. You got walls. You got floors. You got everything here. Okay. So we go to wall stuff here. Um, now there is only like one floor, you know, you got a bunch of different walls. But under wall stuff, we've got cloud and we've got a moon. Now, the great thing about both the cloud and the moon is that they do not have an edge. Now, as you can see, the moon is slightly, has like a bluish tint to it. So when you color it, it'll come up a slightly different color than the background, so you kind of got to play around with it. But um, the moon and the cloud do not have an edge to them. So what does this mean to you? Well, for example, let's say we wanted to oh, no, cancel that. Whoops. do this. Let's say we wanted to behead Buddy. We've all wanted to do that a few times, so let's take Buddy's head off here. Now normally, the only way we could do this is to have a black background because all the objects have a black edge to them. Well here we can have a blue background, a red background, any color background we want and we can still take his head off. <laughs> it's fun to say that. Alright, so we change the color here to red. Now like I said, if you notice, it doesn't match the background. So what we gotta do is we gotta change the background a little bit. See if that matches. It's still a little visible. I'm kind of picky about making things exactly right. Come on. What's wrong here? Come on. Uh, that's a little. I have an LCD screen, so everything appears a little bit off color on mine. <laughs> I can see colors much more clearly. So I'm very picky about getting it just right. I'm sure on yours it might not even show up that it's off color. But it does on mine. Okay. I think that's good. It's close enough. Well, it takes a little playing around with it, but now, bam. But he has no head, and then we can do things like, for example, let's say you want to color this cloud the same color. This is a little trick you can always use in the comic builder or scene builder. Whenever you have an item that's one color and you want to make another item the same exact color, instead of having to go on here, then go to the color and then drag it to what you want. Click on the color, just double click, and it comes up the same color. Now, like I said, the moon is white, the other one has a bluish tint, so you got to play around with it again. That was easy. Now we can take that, put it in front of it, do whatever we want, you know, make him having a bad day, bring it to the front. Again, we just hold shift and hit down, and it brings it forward. Then we can just zoom out using minus, put a few raindrops or something in there, 
And you can make it look like he's having a bad day. If you click on the water effect, double click. That's another trick if a lot of you, if any of you don't know it. Um, you just double click on an item and it will open up other options you can do with it. So sometimes you can, you may not think of using something for something, but um, then when you click on it and change the form, all of a sudden it looks good. And you're like, whoa, why didn't I think of that? Trust me, I've done it. So we take that, put those in there, give them a couple raindrops, bring them forward. Let's do one more. Okay, and that's Buddy having a bad day. Raining on his parade. Okay. So, now another use for the props. I'm sure you've all seen those spheres that people create and whatnot. So how do we make a sphere? Well, let's give it a black background here. Now. Okay. There's two ways to make a sphere. We go into our art library. We go into effects and we choose the spotlight. Now, the two ways to make a sphere are we can either make it black, bring it to the front, and there we go, we have a sphere. That's one way. Now, that does look like a sphere, but it's not an actual sphere because if you look at, like, for example, a ball or something, they don't have that edge to it. And there's going to be for example, if the light's coming at it, it depends where you want the lighting to come from. The best angle, though, I find for the lighting is coming from you looking at it, or from one of the sides, like up here. So, like, let's pretend the light's coming from up here. Make that really big. Alright, this is where the light's coming from. Alright, so we're going to copy and paste that. Now the reason we do that is because this is another way to make a sphere. Sphere. We take that, make it a slightly lighter color. You make the bottom one dark. It's just like if you're doing painting. You put the darker layer on the bottom and then cover it up with the lighter layer. So like, I want to make this red. Do do do. Make it a little smaller. Now the lighting is coming from over there, so we want to make it look like it is. And let's make it a little lighter. I should make the bottom one a little darker. too small there. If we hold control and hit minus, it only zooms out a little bit. So there we put that there. And now we've got... There we go. Now that one looks more sphere than the other one. See? The reason I did the light there is because now you see the shadow at the back of it. So if the light was over here, the shadow would be over here. See? So you just got to remember where the light's coming from. Now, it's act I say over here, but it's actually coming from, like, out in front of the computer and over here. It's actually, like, over here, kind of. Because if you look at the brightest spot on it, is where the light's coming from. So it kind of be coming from, like, your left shoulder if you're looking at it. So those are the two ways to make a sphere. And then you can just do whatever you want on it, you know. Make it a smiley face. Make a little parentheses. Make it larger. And again, on, none of this was possible until they had these new controls, which are really cool. So, thank you, BitStrips, for that. Now, let's say you don't want to go into the scene builder every time. What I did is, if I go into my comic builder, I just made a scene with the cloud and the moon in it. So that way, when I go to create a comic, 
I don't have to go into the com into the scene builder every time. I just go to my stuff, click on my scenes, and drag it in. And then I can just unlock it from the background and use it however I need to. Okay? So that is the moon and the cloud prop, and that is a couple uses for them. I'm going to if you guys like this, I'll do more of these with more uses for the moon, using it in panels, and showing you how to create some things using the moon and the spotlight. So give me some feedback. Let me know if you guys like this. And if you do, I'll make more of these. All right, and that is it for today. Keep bitch driven.